Hello guys, welcome to detailed Python training course by software testing help. So in our previous video, we discussed about the date and time concept. Okay, some of the date uh, time concepts that are provided by Python using the inbuilt classes and inbuilt functions. So today we will discuss uh, string functions and how to create and delete a file. Okay, so let's get started. So first we'll discuss string functions. So using the string, we can perform several operations. Okay. So string is an inbuilt class. So inside this inbuilt class, we have some inbuilt functions. Using these inbuilt functions, we can perform various operations on a string. So the various operations which we can perform on strings are replace, reverse, join, splitting a string, length, compare, lower case or upper case okay now we'll see this one by one okay and i also discussed uh, some of the string functions in my string uh really string classes so in uh, if you go to that class we can uh, you have that video as well you can watch that and here i'm explaining some of the more uh, inbuilt functions okay let's see that one by one so you can go to PyCharm create a package name it as string functions so inside string functions create on python file a string functions okay so first we'll discuss string replace so what is replacing replacing means say if you have a string so i want to replace the value with some other value okay so how we'll do that so first we have to declare one variable I'll declare a variable called message then here i will say hello uh, selenium okay so i have declared this uh, variable and i have some string in it that is hello selenium so i do now i don't want this selenium in this string so i want to replace selenium with python so how will do that i will say print we we'll print this so using the message uh, this message dot replace okay so here we need to give the old value that is with the value you want to replace so i want to replace selenium so we'll say selenium okay we can give single character also okay that uh, like yes, you want to replace yes with p, so we can give s also a string. So and now this is a new value. So you want to replace by what? I want to replace by Python. So that's it. So now, in, if it, it will take this message string and it will replace and it will find the selenium string in it. Uh, if it finds the selen if it selenium string is present, then it will replace by Python. Okay, if the selenium pres if present 10 times, it will replace all the selenium strings by Python. Okay, let's execute this. You can see hello Python. Okay. The old value was hello selenium. The new value is hello Python because it replaced selenium was replaced by Python. So this is about my uh, string replacing. Next, we have string reverse. Okay, string reverse means you want to reverse the string. Okay, I have some string. Then I want to print it in the reverse order. So how we'll do that? So I'll say I'll take the same string. Okay. Now I'll say print print. Okay. So uh, please follow this order. String replacing sorry string reversing is some what very different in python okay now so what is this means this is a string okay so this is a null string so this is some uh, we have a pep okay so inside this uh, inbuilt function we have this uh, null string okay so now we'll say dot join 
sorry shebo ayan okay join so which now we have to call the reverse function inside this join method okay say reversed okay now i will pass the object my object is message okay now i will print this see here it is printed in a reverse order right this is about string reversing it's very tricky okay but you can remember this format this is a common format across python okay you can follow this format okay next we have a, a string join okay uh, string join means we have sometimes we want to join two strings okay we want to make or join the two strings to make it as a one how we'll do that so let me create one string it's one equal to say a b c create one more string is two i'll give some number one two three okay i now have to print i want to join these two strings how we'll do that using a join method print i want to join the s1 with s2 okay that's it now if you print this it will print abc123 sorry so if you observe here sorry sorry so now we explain what is app what is happening here so okay, as you can see s2 is contains 1 2 3 right and s1 contain join so what the join method will do so if you want to say uh, that is If we want to print like A B C one two three, we have to print S one plus S two, which is concatenating. But this is join method. Okay, join method is completely different from concatenation. Okay, so what it will, what it will do is it will take the S two variable and it will take the value one two p. Okay, so for every character, for for and for every iteration, it will join the this string that is S one string. So now S in S two higher one two three. So for as you can see, we have three. That means it will do a three iteration. Okay. So observe carefully. So for one after one, it will print this A B C. During the second iteration, it will print A B C. Okay. After third, there is no character, so it will not at all print anything. You can see here. It is not only not used. Okay, this join method is not used. We only use the uh, concatenation method that is joining the sorry, concatenating string. That how we will do that? S one plus S two. Okay, this is a concatenating. Okay, so A B C one two three. Okay, that is joining. Joining means for every iteration, it will add that another string. Okay, so next we have. string split so we want to split some string so we'll do that so we'll say message is equal to welcome to python okay now i will say print message dot split now what it will do is it will split by this one that is i'm splitting it by spaces okay if inside this i'm not all provided anything so it will print by so it will split by space what it will do is now it will take it will consider this as one this as one and this as one okay now i'll execute this okay see welcome to python so these three will be different Okay, this is about splitting. Now we have a uh, st next is string length. If we want to know the length of the string, we have a length function. Okay, we have to call length, then have to pass the object here that is message. So to print the length, so it is seventy. It will in remember it will include the space also. Space is also a character. Okay, this is about uh, string length. Okay. Next, we have string compare. So, want to compare the two strings. Okay, so message one. Okay, 
can as h2 and i will assign the same value okay now using the if condition i'm checking if my message one okay double equal to message two this is string comparison we are comparing two strings okay i'll print both strings are equal right because both of my, both of my strings are equal this is how you compare the strings okay now we have uh, one more class function that is uh, string lower case if you want to convert the uh, string into lower case you can do that using a lower case method that will declare python in the caps okay i will print message dot lower so it will print convert the upper case character into the lower case character okay similarly we have a upper function so upper function will uh, convert the lower into a upper case so this is about string inbuilt functions okay so next what we have next we have creating and deleting a file okay so if you want to create and delete a file you can do that let me create a python file so create and delete okay so as i said in my uh, as you can see my video in the uh, what we call files okay so in my files video i have discussed about how to open a file how to read data from the file how to read data to a file and how to close a file so today so in this video we will discuss how to create a new file okay inside some part inside a particular path and how to delete that file okay so let's say f first let's say f equal to okay inside the string function okay i don't have any files okay don't have any text files i'll create a text file now i will say open okay say file dot txt and open a text file okay and read in a write format okay after that i'll say dot close dot close okay so if you see here inside the string function i don't have any files called file dot text so what should open function will do is function open function will first fetch if there are any file dot txt files are present if it is not present then it will create that file in a write mode that's why execute it okay you can see here before the file dot txt was not there now it is present okay if i open this okay this is how you create a file okay the open function will open that file if the file exists that means if the file specified is exist it will open the file okay if it is not exist then it will create that file okay it will create that file for you then first then you have to provide the mode if you don't provide the mode it will not create a file okay now we will see how to delete this file okay so delete this file we have to import the os package okay import os okay so inside os we have a remove function so os dot remove so now we have to provide the location okay so uh, now i don't provide the exact location because my python file present inside the same folder which the file dot txt is present okay if the, if the file dot txt is present in some other location then you have to provide the path here so now i will say file dot txt okay and if i run this if i see the file dot txt is present now here how it should be deleted you can see right the file is deleted now so this is about how you create and delete a file 
so in this video we discuss some of the you know, additional concept that is uh, string inbuilt functions and some of the file operation that is how to create and delete a file okay so that's all about this uh, python tutorial guys uh, thank you